is how to zap the Tesla coil for all of its energy zapped into a heavy tank. He's lost a heavy. And we've got a V2. Another one. We've got two V2s. Now, I think the player using orange is pushing it here. Battle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game on Overkill map. Um, one player's using Russia and his opponent is using Ukraine because I'm not playing this game. There are a few spectators, but I'd, I haven't seen this game yet. Um, a player sent this one to me. So um, I thought, oh, that's great. I liked having games sent because um, it's just a change from me playing all the time. So I always appreciate it when a player sends it. So thank you very much to the person that sent me this game. Let's uh, have a look and see what happens. We've both got an identical start, an engineer each moving to the closest oil derrick. Now this map, Overkill, is a new map um, and a player, J Megatank, made it. And um, I've been expecting this map for a while because uh, he told me about it. And the other map is Desert Fight. So these are two new re newly released maps by that map creator. And uh, all the maps I've seen him seen them make recently are very good, so I highly recommend them. But this is, um, you know, a map to show off, uh, a game to show off this map as well as show you a one v one game. And these are the two oil derricks in the centre, the main contestable ones. And it looks like this player with Russia has got the stronger position, but the other player with Ukraine has brought a dog that will give him even out the advantage. He needs to get that dog back. Perfect. Now he's saved his engineer. He needs to get that dog away because it can give a small group of infantry an advantage over a larger group. But he did very well there. And you want your dog on hold fire stance, but this player, the Russia player using Russia, has got the capture on the central oil derrick so far. Um, now, the uh, Ukrainian player, the player using Ukraine, he's cleared them out. He's still got the dog, uh, but they've captured, the Ukrainian player's captured an oil derrick down here. The Russian player has captured one there, and they've both got one close to their base. So it's two to that player and two to this player because the Ukrainian player has gone and taken this. So, but they did have to divert rifles to do it. And at this point, the player using Russia has the advantage in the center. And the dog's taken a hit. He's lucky to survive because it can die in a single burst. But it will give you a nice bit of view range look. And you won't be able to, to see the dog look. But the dog can see the infantry. So what you then do is get your infantry here and snipe at them. Because you can shoot further than you can see. So that's there look as a scuffle here. But that dog needs to be extremely careful. But the bullets will bounce off the wall. You need a clear line of sight. So placing your rifles in the early game here, you can avoid um, attacks from enemy units by the, uh, having these this concrete interrupt the line of sight. It won't help you if you're going to get crushed. But here we go, look. See, his view range with the dog is showing him where the rifles are, but he can't see them in return. All he can see is that uh, APC now is moving in. And the dog can be kept safe now, but look, he's just turned that around again. Why um, the Russian player... He should have had his vehicle with his main force. And he did have the advantage there, so I can't blame him, blame him but... Whoa, that was lucky. Uh, so I can't blame him for being a bit, like, uh, lazy with it. And he did win here by using his APC. But I would uh, usually have my vehicle with my main group, my main force for most of the time, drop off an engineer and stuff, but you have to watch for your engineers being sniped at this point, once your opponent's got a vehicle. Now it's rocket soldiers, but you want them to get more than a single shot off if possible. There, you got two off, and that's did it, you see. he would If he got a single shot off, he'd have died and the APC would have got away, but you can't mess with them. Rocket soldiers deal good damage. And the dog's leading the way. And uh, like I've said before, the dog goes on hold fire stance so it doesn't attack. And they're using the dog's view range bonus and they've just lost the dog. 
now the APC. He got the APC though, he's destroyed it, so that will stop the Rush player using Russia, it'll stop him from advancing. That was a nice catch with the rifleman there. Killing the engineer, very nice catch. Now, the player using Ukraine, he's positioned his rifle's S to use the view range advantage of the oil derrick. That's why this player using Russia can't advance without a vehicle, because fighting defensively, the player with Ukraine could position his units here or here, and he'd have the view range advantage. Plus, he's about to start building, more, training more, yeah, building more vehicles. So that's why this player couldn't advance even with this larger mass. It, he was right not to, because the advantage has already changed hands. Um, so let's have a look. We've got. He's ready to place. A refinery. Where's the uh, what's the other player? There, he's just about to expand to here. There's the Ukrainian player. Player using Ukraine. He's got his expansion set up. That's the second expansion refinery, and we've got his transferred his eco. But it looks like he's harvesting every morsel before he moves the last two. Now, player using Russia. He's just got his eco transfer underway. And now he's got one vehicle, should soon be two, hopefully, to actually move out with this force. Now you have to have a vehicle up front with your forces, it's essential. Now this player using Ukraine has got three heavy tanks. And he's bringing an MCV with him. Uh, and look, he's moving, it's... Uh, it, as he changes his mind, he's just sending a few units, and hopefully that will draw his opponent's attention. But look, this guy's sharp. He's only sending what he needs to, plus it's a bit late anyway, but that's very nicely dealt with, because he doesn't know how much is there. Look, you see, um, he's moved in with vehicles, so he can see that. But before he arrived, for all he know, there was, knew, there was a big chunk of troops. So he sent a, a nice amount. Two tanks will screen infantry against a decent amount of enemy units. So, you know, it, it was a decent force. That was a perfect response, put it that way. And player using Ukraine's moving forward. He's had a zap, a Tesla coil, all of its energy zapped into a heavy tank. He's lost a heavy... And we've got a V2, another one, we've got two V2s. Now, I think the player using orange is pushing it here. There's a nice V2 strike. Can he make, can he push through? He hasn't got enough heavy tanks. This one's not moving. And that's it, they're gonna get massacred. And he's just admitted as much. Oh, he's called it there straight away. Sudden, very sudden. 7.45, uh, well, it was an active game up and, you know, these are good players. He's a better judge of when to call it than I am because I know both these players. They're both good. So we actually got to see this map demonstrated. It was a short, brief game, but at least it was two decent players using it. Look, he's got early tech and stuff. You could uh, watch this replay and you'd, be, you'd do well to follow this build because he's got V2s, he's got heavy tanks, he's got a decent army. So he hasn't lost out by having tech. And he's got a plane, V2s, you know, it's a, it's a decent build. So it's a good, even though it was brief, it's a good battle to show. And there's a good demonstration of this map. Uh, it's overkill and it's a fairly new one. And I want to show a replay with Desert Fight map as well. So I'll do that soon. But because this was a short game, I'm just going to go through the graphs and charts. Look at that. You, you know, it was an even battle. It's just the player using uh, Russia made a mistake and advanced when he shouldn't have done. He said it was a mistake himself, in some, in other words. So there's the army graph, very close. And there's the earnings. Um, his finishing army, let's have a look. Yeah, it's a decent army. He's got, uh, basically, it's like a division sort of it's got an aircraft so it's got its own reconnaissance it's got an, its own support artillery it's got a, a almost a company of tanks say he lost one and he's got an engineer and uh, a small group of infantry a company's worth roughly with some support elements anti-tank elements so it's a nice little compact army and he can also train thieves when he wants to and he's got a uh, two mcvs to advance with it's good it's a solid build a good example is the combat um combat uh, tab and 
the, the player using Russia, he got 69 kills. The Ukrainian player got 112 just because of that advance at the end where he got to finish off the final enemy units as a massacre. And he's got 14,000 army value. Not a lot, but it's a good, solid army with all the elements he needs and an MCV with it as well. You know, he's distributed his eco very nicely. So it's a good example of how to start on this map. Um, it destroyed 13,000 of his opponent's assets. The uh, Russian player, the Ukrainian player who won, destroyed 19,000 of his opponent's assets, a bit more. Support powers are in effect. He's got para bombs paratroopers and spy planes because when you're Ukraine and you build an airfield you also get para bombs which means a bomber will come in and drop a stream of bombs on parachutes and they land in a row about that long so you if you wanted to use them here you would say you'd tell the bomber to come from this direction and you'd select the para bomb tab you'd click on it here this here you'd click on that then you'd have the icon ready and you'd click here to drop it on the power plan and you'd hold the mouse button and draw the icon in this direction uh, that my mouse point is going diagonally down 45 degrees and then when you let go the bomber will come from that direction and head in the direction you've told it to so it would drop a line of bombs over these three structures for example but you would want the bomber to come from the nearest map edge because if you attacked here with your para bombs you wouldn't want to press the icon on the construction yard and draw it in this direction because it would mean the bomber would come from here because it wouldn't come from the nearest map edge it'd come from the nearest it come from the direction you tell it to so it would come from here and the enemy would have all that time to spot it and get out of the way and even if they didn't see it coming the chances that those units are still there in place even the construction yard's probably going to move on by the time it's arrived so that's why you order it to come you go for firing opportunities and you order the bomber to come from the closest map edge you can while still uh, dropping it, its bombs in an effective pattern so if you wanted to drop them here on these guys it'd be perfect you'd press the icon over the airfield and drag the icon down and the bomber would move in this direction and drop its bombs in a line and uh, they would have very little time to react the engineer would see it coming though so you'd have to bear that in mind and maybe use the shroud so you could send it from this direction if there was base defenses that is just not going to move then send it where it's going to be shrouded and then the oil derrick would reveal its approach and it'd be probably too late but there's the support powers and a bit of an in-depth explanation of the power bombs that was maybe you know there you go anyway but the he's building uh usual stuff planes tanks defenses economy tab he's got seven oil trucks still got two oil derricks he earned fifty two thousand, and his opponent earned fifty two thousand. very close very close he's got they've both got plenty of cash left as well several thousand uh, basics 41 actions per minute from the Russian player. The player that won the using Ukraine got 26 action was at uh, 26 actions per minute. And there's the scores 146 to 223 to the winner. And there you go, there's the first game. I'm going to add a second replay on just so it's a more substantial um, post. Um, here we go, I'll use this one, and it's on Scorched Earth, uh, it's a 1v1 multiplayer game. I'm using Russia, my opponent's using Germany for this one. Um, I'm in green this time. So uh, I'm not in my usual red because my opponent chose a red colour. I I, I'm not going to use my usual red. Um, so I switched to my secondary colour of green. So don't uh, mis don't misunderstand because of the colours. I'm I'm the green player using green units, and my first rifleman's run into trouble, but the second one gets the engineer because my opponent has been drawn that way. You have to cover both cover both sides of this first oil derrick you can see that the first rifles trained can get there pretty quickly. So you have to cover both sides. Um, now, for production, my opponent is uh, training a medic now. But I've moved forward and I'm going for the hospital by the looks of it. Now, 
in fact the engineer's already here so it's fair enough but it's a little bit of time um like spent where you're not actually going to capture this second one that's actually the more important thing and i always used to oh look he's got a medic nice there's the my opponent's trained a second engineer but there's no one left to take him out but i've got a rifleman there so i've sent him to hide and wait and to check if it's already been captured or not of course there's another rifleman lost and my opponent's protecting him very well uh, I've taken the hospital. Now, this engineer should be on his way here. That's looks like I'm distributing rifles and guards and bringing up some reinforcements. These rifles should be behind the hospital. And like I say, the engineer should definitely be on his way by now. My opponent's taken his first oil, Derek. Yeah, another rifle scout tells me Maybe don't move in that direction. Now my opponent is thinking about going for this oil, Derek, but he's actually got it well covered. He's going to escort his engineer very, very um, effectively. He's going to clear that out before he sends him. Look, he's on his way now, but these three rifles will clear the area. We've got another medic. Two ref builds for both of us. I've got my war factory and I've built my first scout vehicle. You see, taking out an engineer and your opponent training a second one can actually have a bit of an impact on their uh, cash supplies running out and things. As soon as I see no rockets coming at me, the APC goes in, runs over the enemy troops. <clears throat> and I think I've cleared it out. And look, my engineer's here, and the enemy can see this because it's their oil, Derek. Now, I've sent one rifle to check, and it's enough time to save the engineer, thankfully. So, my engineer's backing off, and I know my opponent's got a ranger. So, I'm sending the APC to actually screen my troops so I can win this engagement. There we go. And my opponent makes the mistake of sending that in. He could have waited and used it to snipe the engineer. But my opponent's engineer is here. Now it is finished, it's capturing, but he should still hurry and move him down there. Now I'm capturing this. That It's only my second oil, Derek, you see. I haven't taken this one yet, and you should take that at first thing you can. straight after the closest one here because taking this oil derrick this one the closest to me that gives you um an area that's like you can use its view range as an advantage and protect your troops with it um and that's close enough to your base to make it worth protecting and expending resources to protect but um when uh when it delays me i should take that and go straight for this one uh, with the engineer on foot straight away but as soon as I do get um, an APC I'm at least um, escorting the engineer dropping him off here um, at least that but I should be looks like he's idle so what am I paying attention to anything oh yeah I'm setting up my expansion that is actually something but uh, I'm wasting a lot of time there we go, I've got the engineer and it's starting to capture. My opponent has moved his second engineer down there, so he's got him safe. There's a rifle guard. You need these guys in place so enemy forces don't sneak through your defences. <clears throat> There's my engineer, and I'm glad to see I'm not making the mistake of leaving him there. There you go. And the APC is going on a little scouting mission checking to see if the enemy's expanded because i have luck so i'm going to check to see if my opponent has because obviously it's time and he's just built his second mcv and he's got a force moving out that mcv's idle let's see what he's building Oh, he's attacking the closest oil, Derek. He's not capturing it back, but he has got an engineer. He should have done that. Should have just captured that closest one at least. Power plant. He's building tanks, uh, but that's a light tank. 
He should be building mediums by now. There you go, he's moving out his expansion and he's building a refinery. So, let's just check up on the economy. Yeah, he's got enough cash to keep him going till then and he's still got an income here, so that's fine. Um, he's, he's okay. Now he's attacking my closest oil derrick. So I've got one and he's got one now. He quickly wiped that, that out in the centre. And because I've had no real resistance, I've moved forward with this MCV. And I've got my expansions both here, look. I need an eco-transfer. Oh no, I've done one. And here you go as an engagement. I've got to get my tanks between my infantry and the enemies. So, and that means on both sides, because there's the engagements from two directions. But these tanks can't be that close to the enemy, because my infantry aren't fighting with them. But there's no rockets to destroy them and see how much fire that tank's soaking up. Now I've cleared up one side and getting view range and base defences and production on site. So that's how you solidify and consolidate your advantage. And it's not always best to advance, but check and see. But you need your tanks up front because pillboxes chew through infantry. So I'm letting these infantry die for no reason and they are actually getting chopped to pieces but you need units at your home base look have to and I'm sending that tank for repairs and when you actually send vehicles for repair it helps you have more units on site for at least a certain amount of time at your home base so tanks being repaired does help defend your home base you know, because for a certain amount of time, while they're being repaired, before they move out, they're at your base, ready to protect it. Here you go, that's it, the enemy's called it. And that was like a brutal struggle once it started, but we maintained the attack and continued, and actually just ran, ran through the enemy. Um, but yeah, look, the army graph, after those first engagements, it, there was we were shedding units, both of us were. But... It's not, my opponent wasn't far behind, but it was a rapid loss of units in a minute. It was severe. So there's the army graph. Um, earnings graph, let's have a look. It's about even until the sixth minute. My finishing army, a few tanks, my APC, an engineer, and a small group of infantry. I killed 117 units, my opponent killed 73. I only lost one structure, but my opponent lost five before they called it. I destroyed 23,000 um, credits <coughs> credits worth of their assets, and they destroyed 13,000 credits worth of mine. <coughs> Excuse me, let's have a look. Support powers, there are none in effect at the moment. Uh, production, and I'm placing power plants and building standard stuff. I've got lots of cash though, and considering it's early in the game, I would normally not have that much. So... Yeah, I'm not sure. And I've got seven ore trucks and then one oil derrick left. My opponent kept his on short till the end. Uh, but I've got a massive income of 12 grand. That's good for this point in the game. And I've distributed those few ore trucks there. And I've got another expansion. So, But my opponent's got plenty of cash left himself. I earned 61 grand and my opponent earned 44, so it's not bad. Um, uh, it's basics tab now. My actions per minute were 27, and my opponent's actions per minute were 22. So, there you go, as basics and scores and that. Um, and that's it. I'll leave this post there, just with those two, but my highlight um, replay was the overkill map match and like i say i want to th say thank you again to the player that sent me that i always appreciate when appreciate it when players send games in because it helps uh, show some different content some different players and stuff so i appreciate that um thank you very much for watching everyone if you like what you saw give us a sub and a like and take good care of yourselves and until next time goodbye battle control terminated